Hello my sweet potatoes, it is Michelle and today I'm going to be talking about my experience at UH Manoa. I graduated with my bachelor's of business administration in marketing and a minor in Japanese language. So I just wanted to talk about my experience because I have gotten a few questions about UH Manoa and also Scheidler and really the experiences that you have in college are what you make of it. Everyone's experience in college is different so this is all just from my own perspective and my own experience but I just wanted to share that with you guys and hopefully help some of you guys out. A little background about me is that I was born and raised here in Hawaii and I've never left here so I've literally lived here my entire life. I did go to UH Manoa for my entire four years, decided to stay at home because I can live with my parents and go to school so it was just the most convenient for me. So the first thing that I think of when I think of my experience at UH was choosing my classes. I remember it was extremely stressful in freshman year because literally no one told me how to do it. It was all online and it wasn't like high school. For high school, at least for me, our schedule was pretty much made for us but everything in college is on your own. There were just so many classes and I didn't know what fulfilled what requirement. It also really helps to ask around. Maybe if you have some other friends who are older than you and and have gone through that process maybe you can ask them for some help word of mouth is so helpful with this kind of thing or check ratemyprofessors.com that website will save your butt to avoid any bad professors because trust me the professor makes a huge difference like if the professor sucks you're not gonna like the class at least that's how it was for me but one thing that UH really sucks at is like their financial aid like they take a really long time to process things so you want to make sure that you are doing things ahead of time it's really important so just make sure again like plan accordingly like plan 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 failing to plan is planning to fail it's also recommended to take at least 15 credits a semester so that's like five classes a semester you only need to take 12 credits to be considered a full-time student but 15 is the like magic number I guess. Try to make sure that you are ahead with your credits. The more credits that you have, the sooner you'll be able to register and the sooner you'll be able to get that class with a good professor because you know that classes with good professors will fill up first. I usually took more than 15 credits a semester but that's also because I was minoring. But I mean you don't have to graduate in four years either. Like you can take as long as you want. It's just like the norm I guess to graduate within four years. Or if you want to graduate early then make sure that you're thinking about that as well like if you're in high school right now and you don't want to take four years to graduate what was it I think it was called like running start in high school where you can get college credit for classes even though you're still in high school so that's what my boyfriend did and he was able to graduate one semester early so he graduated in three and a half years so really it's mostly just about like planning ahead and make sure that you are on track with your plan classes are also very easy in the beginning years like like freshman sophomore year because they're mostly just like huge lectures so maybe like a hundred two hundred people per class so it's really simple obviously once you get closer to graduation like your junior senior year you're gonna have a lot more focused classes with very few students maybe like 20 at most um, for you to get more of a one-on-one -on -one connection with the professor and also with your classmates to really fine-tune your knowledge and your skill sets it's really easy to not really focus or try hard on classes in the beginning of your college career I didn't really care in my freshman and sophomore years I ended up getting not as good grades as I would have hoped and so that's why from the very beginning make sure that you stay motivated because it will bite you in the butt in the end if you don't. I did dorm as well. I dormed for my freshman and sophomore year. I just wanted to try it out. I was in Halle Mokihana. Yeah, I was in Halle Mokihana for my freshman year and then my sophomore year I was in Freer Hall. I honestly hated the freshman towers because there was only a community bathroom so there was like four bathrooms shared with the entire floor and oh my god, some girls are just so disgusting. Like I don't understand it. Freer was awesome. There was AC, there was a game room, we had our own bathroom. Plus in my second semester living in Freer, my roommate actually moved out so I had our entire room to myself so of course I pushed my bed and her bed together to make one big huge bed oh my god I wish I had that bed still I had two other roommates but they lived in their room and I was in 
one room all by myself like it was so good dorming and being that close to campus and being in such a central area was so much fun because a lot of my friends lived around there no parents to like nag on you for things it was so much fun but also expensive so you know make sure that you plan accordingly in that aspect i had random roommates it ended up being fine because all of my roommates were great moving in and moving out was the most stressful thing though like i have lived in the same house my entire life so i've never really experienced moving out or moving in before but with dorming you kind of get a little bit of that taste and it is seriously like it was one of the most stressful times in college, like besides finals week. If you've moved around before, then you're probably fine, but I had never before and I didn't really know what was going on. Especially in freshman year, I was like, what, what do I do? There were a lot of like parties as well, but I never really went to them. I, I did like once or twice, but it just wasn't really my scene but there are for sure parties going on every single weekend somewhere at the dorms i'll be in my room alone watching youtube videos in my pjs yep okay so the sun is like going down so i need to like hurry this up so the next thing that i want to talk about is like student life the main things that i'm going to be talking about is like joining clubs and like getting involved and stuff like that so one thing that really made my college experience what it was was like joining clubs and like student organizations and things so for me i joined marching band so i was in marching band my freshman and sophomore year but those two years that i was in marching band i was able to make some of the best friends and i still keep in touch with them till this day so it's really good because you will definitely make these like long lasting friendships in college joining these clubs and organizations is how you will be able to meet some of these people for my junior and senior year i joined the ibo or the international business organization this is a club that was in shyler though but yeah i joined these two organizations those are really the only two that i focus on i know some people join way more than that but it's been up to you to manage your time maybe you have a boyfriend Friend. maybe you need some time with your family or like to do homework and study and stuff so time management is another thing but seriously like I would definitely definitely recommend getting involved in some kind of club maybe even like a fraternity or something I assure you that there is some place that you will fit in I also wanted to talk about food like hello you girl gotta eat there are actually a lot of food places on campus there is campus center they have like subway starbucks jamba juice they also have bale which is like vietnamese food there's also paradise palms where you can get like panda express domino's pizza lnl some indian food there are also a bunch of food trucks all over campus there's also this like steak truck i think it's like blue truck teppanyaki or something right across the street there's also banan which is so delicious they have like banana soft serve type of thing so many food options around i'm you, you won't go hungry like trust me there's also a shuttle system at uh which was my life when i was dorming especially when i lived in hale mokihana because it was just so far away so i would just take the shuttle and the shuttle is free anyone can ride the shuttle even if you're not a student you don't need to show any idea or anything plus it's ac um, and it's pretty fast as well get the manoa shuttle app also just like living in hawaii you are really close to like the beach and to a bunch of different hikes and you can easily take the bus to all of these places with your ID you can get like a little sticker for the bus and it's included in your student tuition go to the beach between classes you can go on a hike I would recommend getting a part-time job if you can there are a lot of opportunities for part-time jobs on campus and it pays pretty well and it's good because they are usually really understanding and flexible with your class schedule yeah get a part-time job on campus it's really convenient and you get some extra money it's also just really good to get an internship get some hands-on experience in the field that you are interested in so highly highly recommend doing that talk to someone about how you can find internships in your field of interest because I assure you that it can only help you in the long run and who knows your internship might turn into an actual job and that would be amazing so my camera decided to just like stop recording 
I think I was talking about Scheidler, but Scheidler is the School of Business or the College of Business and that is the school that I was in. But overall, I think I had a really good experience with Scheidler. I had a lot of really good professors, probably because I did a lot of research beforehand before registering for my classes because I went on ratemyprofessors.com and I also talked to a lot of people. For the most part, professors were really helpful as well and they actually care about you and they honestly try to help you. And also in Scheidler, there is a lot of group work, a lot of presentations, and a lot of group projects. Also a lot of projects where you have to present something and practice your public speaking skills. The classes are much smaller so they are more interactive. It's also very encouraged to join a club at Scheidler. There is a club for I think every major so most of the times people will just join the club that is meant for their major but that's not always the case like most of the clubs are open to any major. Scheidler was also really big on pushing students to get internships. There are a lot of career fairs that they hold. There's lots of good resources as well. Something else that is really big at Scheidler is studying abroad. So I know a lot of students who have studied abroad for a semester or like a year. Even if you're not in Scheidler, if you have an opportunity to study abroad, I would say like do it because I've never done it. I wish I did. But I didn't so that is one thing that I regret. Don't be like me. Don't regret something like that because I don't know when I'll get a chance to study abroad again. Though if you have the opportunity, I would say like do it. Do it. Just do it. <laughs> Alright guys, so I've done a lot of talking and the sun is going down but I think that is all that I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope it helped you in some way. So overall, I think my experience at UH was a really good one. Let me know if you have any other questions. You can leave them in the comments below or you can DM me or if you want to keep yourself anonymous, you can ask me a question on my Tumblr. All of my links will be in the description box. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay confident and I will see you in my next video. Bye!